Hey guys, in the fast lane here. Tonight I'm getting ready to pull some injectors on a Hyundai Veloster. Now these are GDI injectors, which stands for gasoline direct injection. And how that works is with these injectors, they run a higher voltage. They can run all the way up to 120 volts. Now that means you need to make sure that you have a unit that can test them. And that's where the GDI fuel injector cleaner tester comes in. It has the higher voltage built in. It can run high speed tests, medium speed tests, it can do idle tests. A whole bunch of other functions now I believe that cylinder number two is my problem I pulled the spark plugs and when I pulled them on cylinder two there was some detonation where the other ones were just a little lean but there was no detonation with that information I believe we have a problem with cylinder two fuel injector what I'm going to be using for the setup is I'm going to be using gum out odorless mineral spirits just so it doesn't fume up the area and then the kit this is the fuel injector kit changes out all the o-rings seals and brackets i went with gum out because they use a chemical called pea and that's the acronym for polyethern amine right here two times cleaning power carbon cleaner that's the pea and that's what the professionals use i'm going to go ahead and fill up these cylinders right here just got to fill one and we're going to put the mineral spirits right here at the top and when we fill it up, we only have to fill one of these glass containers or vials. It's going to go over here on this side and we watch this meter. I'm going to do about 500 milliliters. So that'll be, you know, 125 each. So it'll go up to here. If we go too high, it'll spill out. So just watch over there. You're going to want to make sure that your lever right here is up. That'll let it drain into the tank. And then over here, you're just going to watch until it gets to 500. Now here's the chart. We're at about 500. You don't want to get up into the red. The red is about 750. Now that it's filled to 500 milliliters, go ahead and close this latch. I'm going to go ahead and set up these injectors for the spray patterns. So this is cylinder one, two three and four next thing we're going to grab the right adapters there's a bunch of them just find the one that fits your injector you're going to put it over top of it we're going to screw these into the fuel rail a little bit easier if you just screw the adapter on first now we just take it and slide it right down like this just get them all in there Take these nuts and screw them down. Now we're going to put these little wires on to the fuel injectors so they're universal. And then it'll plug into the main unit. Now there's four wires. They're both positive in ground. Just one smaller for a different type injector. On this particular injector, with the clip on top, the right side, it's going to be the red and the left side is going to be the black. That's the way you can find out on the original fuel injector rail. This is the original fuel injector wire and as you can see right here we got the red on the right and the blue which is the ground on the left. All we do is just take a red one, clip it and then take a black one that fits. Either one, whichever black wire fits, they're both ground just like that then we plug this into the actual main harness looking at the main harness it says four you got numbers right here one two three four now we're going to run a leak checking test that's number seven you can just change this to number seven go ahead hit play and as you can see we're building pressure and we don't have any leaks anywhere so we're good if you don't know what voltage your injector is, just leave it at 12 and we'll do a quick test. We're going to do an idle test too. And just hit play. If it doesn't work, we can just change the voltage to 70. It looks like it's working pretty good. This is just an idle test. 
We'll go ahead and stop this and we will change it to, we're gonna just throw a high speed at it, 10. Go ahead and set it to 10. It should go fast. This is the spray patterns we have right now. They look all right. We're gonna go with a high speed test. This one should be real fast. This is number four. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the pressure so we can get this going faster. Do an accelerating test, RPM test, set it to number five. Let's see what we get. If you're afraid to mess up the voltage, you can't. I'll show you. We'll put it to 120, and it's going to error because they're not 120 volt injectors. See? These are actually, I believe, 70. I ran them at 12. You can run them at 12, but 70 works good. Now we're going to go ahead and take off these nuts, and we're going to go ahead and put these in the ultrasonic clean tank, these injectors. You're going to want to pull these off the fuel rail. We're going to go ahead and fill this with some gum out. Just make sure the valve is closed on the back. We're going to fill it right to the bottom so the fuel injectors get in there. About one can does good. We'll just set them in there like that in the holes. Just try to keep the wires from touching any of the metal or anything like that. Now we just come over here and it says one is ultrasonic cleaning. Flip the power. Set it to one. To get a little more cleaning, I dunk them down in here. Let them run on the ultrasonic clean. Now I'm gonna do a reverse flow. And how you do that, you take this cylinder-like one, it screws in, and then we use this little washer adapter. It goes like that. And then one of the injectors goes the opposite way, it goes backwards. Put it in like that, and then we set the injector right like this. We'll have to use a different end. But it goes like this and it pushes it the opposite way so we can flush out that basket filter in there. What I'm using is like a nylon washer. And over here you have some rubber O-rings. This came in the kit. These nylon washers didn't come in the kit. I had to kind of utilize what I had. This is how it'll go. It'll go just like this over top of it. The rubber washer will o-ring right there will seal on the nylon washer and then we'll shoot it down the opposite way to clean out the basket filters in the top this is what we're looking at have a little rubber o-ring underneath here and then on top we have another o-ring i went ahead and threw on another o-ring right here just to kind of seal it up a little bit I'm running it on number seven leak checking test just let this run for a little bit. As you can see, 
it reverses the flow to clean out that basket filter. We're getting pretty close on the reverse flush. As you can see, I'm going to take some super fine steel wool and I'm going to clean up the tips right here. You can see how dirty they are. I'm just going to run it around the side and the end right here. And then I'm going to put them in the ultrasonic clean tank. Here's how clean that looks now. Even the sides real clean. Right now I'm currently running about 70 PSI. I have it set to number 10, high speed spray value test. This is what we're looking at. Just did a quick run. We're at 30 there, about 30 there. 30 there and right here on the last one we're about 32 so that's within one to two percent I'm gonna run it again make it a little higher and then we'll go from there